Hi, this is Suchi, and in my today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Python in your system if you already do not have it. So, in my previous video, I have shown I have created some .py file and I ran it from the CMD with py command like this. But you might do this. You might follow the same steps and you run it. And it says py is not recognized as an internal or external command. Even if I write it completely, sample.py. So if I write it as Python space sample.py, again, it will say Python was not found. This is showing because Python is not installed in my system. It might be possible that Python is installed, but it is not added to the path. Then also you will get such kind of errors. So let me show you how to install the Python as well as get it into the path. So I'm going to open my Chrome browser. You can open any browser that you use and type Python installer. So here you will find https www.python.org. This is a standard URL from where you are going to download. So you will see this kind of interface. And when you will go to the downloads, you can see download for Windows. So you can check all releases. Or if you are using the Windows, then you can directly download it from here. So let me, as I am using a Windows machine, I will download it from here. You can check for if you are using Linux or Mac or other, you can check it from here. So for Windows, I'm downloading it from here and I'll save it. So after you save it, you will, you will be able to see this file here, exe file. So what you need to do is you have to double click on it and it will run. So here, when you are installing, it will ask whether to add it to the path or not. It's better if you add it to the path so that you don't need to do it separately. So during installation itself, you should add it to the path. And then it is showing optional features. So I will, pref I will prefer to tick all of them. I will be needing all of them. So I'll say next. If you don't need any of them, then uncheck those, uncheck those lists. If you think you don't need the test suit, you can remove it. If you think you don't need the launcher, you can remove it. But if you don't understand whatever is selected by default, just go with it. Then these are the advanced options. You can just, you can change where you need to install this location, you can browse from here and you can change the location of installation. Otherwise, go with the default one, whatever is selected there. And here, if you want to select anything from here, you can select. Otherwise, go with the default selected options. So then you have to click on install. It is asking me for, uh, do I want to allow to make changes, allow this app to make changes in, your, in my computer. So I will say yes, and it will start installing. So it is installing the Python in my system. The installation is done. It will show you that setup was successful and you can, and you can close it. Now, if we look into our, if we open our command prompt, so I will type CMD here and it will open the command prompt here. If we open our command prompt, and if we check whether Python command is available or not. So here you can see that Python 3.10.4 is available and we can write Python code here. And it's working. Now we can run our .py file as well. So as you can see, 
the dot py file is running even the py command will work in the same way so here is how we install our python thank you for watching and keep implementing